Good morning. How are y'all doing? Um, so, today's theme is there's no such thing as a ruined life or as, yeah, no such thing as a ruined life. And today's theme is kind of a challenge to yourself and your perceptions because I know that even in my life I have encountered adults, friends, mentors, people in my life that have made statements that indicated that if I made this choice I would be, be I would be successful or I would be doing the right thing or if I made this choice I would be ruining my life forever. Um, no. There are choices that you make that you learn lessons from that are maybe a little bit more difficult than others. Sometimes your path is filled with few good choices or choices that appear to have you trapped. You know, there's a, a woman that I know who, when she was 19, 20, she got into drugs, she got into alcohol, she got hooked on, I think it was heroin, but I'm not sure. Um, and she came from a poor family, she came from abuse, she came from, I mean, she did really good. She graduated from high school. She started college and then um, she made some poor choices. Now, I say poor choices, but for her, she's an amazing woman. Y'all would love her. Um, for her, she's, she's even told me, she's like, they weren't really bad choices if I think about it because they led me to a series of events in my life that eventually, um, mid-twenties, she happened to encounter this person that was able to help her get clean, but in that process of getting clean, help her find what she was truly passionate about. And that's where she had been lost, and why she had been lost, and why she had been in that vulnerable place to get hooked on drugs and make these series of quote unquote poor choices. Um, she's a criminal lawyer now. She's amazing. Um, she never had kids, but she didn't want kids, you know, and, and our societal expectation is you, you grow up, you get good grades, you go to college, you meet the man of your dreams, you, or woman of your dreams or both. You get married, you settle down, you have 2.5 children or 8.12 or however many you have. You raise your kids. Your kids do the same thing you do while you wait around waiting for grandkids. And in the meantime, if you have a wonderful career to go with it and make a lot of money so that you can retire comfortably, then that's great. That's the quote-unquote stereotypical American dream. It's not my dream. I don't know how many people that it's not their dream. Um, and we have to look at choices that people make not as it ruins their life. Because you don't know if it ruins their life. You don't know what their life path is and the choices that they have in front of them may not be all, you know, there, there may not be any good choices at that time because they are being faced with these choices so that they can grow as a spiritual being. And sometimes those choices are drugs and alcohol. Sometimes those choices are kids. Sometimes those choices are bad career moves. Sometimes those choices are dropping out of college, not going to college, going to college. I mean, there are 
innumerable choices. Maybe, maybe that person's choice to become a homeless person for 15 years is their choice, is their lesson, is their path. Have anybody ever thought of that? You know, it, it's probably one of my most irritating pet peeves is that you take a kid in high school, and I taught high school for, year, for several years, and you take that kid who is impressionable and often very vulnerable because they're confused and they're conflicted and you force them into a mold that they don't fit in and they spend the next however many years often until their 30s figuring out that the mold didn't fit it's wrong it's fundamentally wrong you cannot ruin There, there's no such thing as ruining a life by the choices that they make because it's their life. If they choose to end their life, that is their path. If they choose to live their life upside down in a treehouse, that's their life. Now, I get that parents are supposed to guide their children and help them live to their full potential. I get it, and I, I, I believe in that. But there is a line there that we often cross as a society where we judge others on the choices that they make and that judgment comes with criticism about how they ruin their life because they didn't make the choices you would have made. And that's hypocritical and it's wrong. So. Today's theme is to reflect on that idea. Reflect on that idea inside yourself and where would you be if you did not maybe think the choices you made were right or wrong or if you had ruined your life with whatever decision you made. I know that I have struggled with this because there have been times in my life that people have outright told me you, you ruined your life because you made such and such a decision. And they shrug their shoulders and go, well, you fucked it up now. So there are decisions I wish that I had done differently, obviously, but I have not ruined my life, nor have I ruined anyone else's. There were better choices maybe, maybe not. But this is the life path I'm on. It's not an excuse, and I want to clarify this, this is not an excuse to get out of your lessons either. Because that could be misinterpreted in this video. Don't take the choices that you make that quote unquote have ruined your life and turn it around and say, well that's my excuse for doing things or not doing things. So it's not a blame game, it's not a lack of accountability, it's looking at the choices and acknowledging that some people's choices that may look to have ruined their life, maybe it's enriched their life, maybe it has led them on a path to a sequence of events that will open things up, or maybe their life path is full of struggles, and maybe it's that way on purpose. It can be sad. I mean, I don't want to see somebody that's homeless. I don't want to see somebody who's addicted to drugs. I don't want to see any of the bad things. I'm not advocating that either. I'm not saying, hey, let's celebrate the drug addict. No. I'm just saying that each person's path is different and you have to maybe look outside your worldview and recognize that that may lead them to beautiful things you don't know. You really don't know. As in my friend. She's a beautiful soul. And she really struggled in her 20s, early 20s, with some horrible things and had horrible things happen to her. And she did some horrible things. Um, but those events led to something beautiful. And she is able to live a full and enriched life now with a lot more depth and she even admits if I hadn't had those things happen to me 
I would still be that shallow person because I didn't know my own depth. She had to have those things happen so that she could dive deep into the darkness of her soul to rise up like the phoenix. So today in the book of days, today is the 16th. Each year on this date in the country of Indonesia, a fire god, Betoro Bromo, is honored by Buddhist monks and pilgrims who gather at Mount Bromo. At the first stroke of midnight, offerings of food and flowers are cast into the volcano where the god is believed to dwell. And on this date in 1976, the famous astrologer and author known as Zolar died. So I know I missed video yesterday. I will do one later on in the week to make up for it an extra one so i hope you have a beautiful day hope this gives you something to think about today and i will see you tomorrow in prayer blessed be